Good morning everyone, just a quick update. So we headed out of Augusta yesterday after a fantastic stop there. Very nice people, the rodeo was fantastic. Yeah, everything was pretty good. So we started back out in the Bob Marsh Wilderness yesterday and now we've transitioned into the scapegoat. So Scapegoat Wilderness is pretty much the same, except today we're walking on a lot of rock. So it's slow going, gotta watch your step. But yeah, still in burn zone. It's phenomenal. It's been uh, well over a week now where the majority of the land has been burnt. So we're sort of hoping that uh, we get to some nice green forests so we can enjoy those again.
people anyone that's interested so that's where we came from yesterday all the way over there and then on those tops and then dropped right down the bottom I think we're at about 2,000 meters at the moment um, went down to Rogers Pass and then we actually uh, hiked hitchhiked into Lincoln got a resupply stayed the night and now we're going up the other side it's not very steep here but we're climbing about 500 meters up to the top somewhere way up there and then we sort of head along it's uh it's big water carries through here i think there's a 16 kilometer stretch where there's no water so we're going from water every half kilometer to water sort of once a day so rather than carrying 500 mils or a litre we have to carry four litres anyway another three days to Helena and then we're going to take a break get a resupply and then head on so yeah I'll update as we go along through the day this gives a better perspective of where we were yesterday up on tops today we're walking along that ridge and then off into the distance quite high up here to the 2,000 meters it's just nice to, after that massive climb to finally be on the level it looks like we just sort of skirt around with a little bit of up and down the undulation doesn't look too bad it'll just be the big water carry today uh, and tomorrow I believe that's going to just test the legs and back but we need to get used to it because once we get down into New Mexico we'll be looking at days where it's up to 40 kilometers between water so we'll be carrying six plus liters just so we can keep hydrated thankfully by the time we get there though it'll be autumn time or the fall as they call it here in the US and it should be nice and cool um, also the terrain isn't as strenuous so you're not getting five six hundred meter climbs um, yeah anyway focus on today get it done on your way to Helena we've got a hotel or motel booked for a couple of nights of R&R &R. Hopefully get to a couple of Chinese smallest boards and make them regret your opening. Or at least put a small dent in their pockets. It's a deer just uh, standing here. Just going down to get some water come down off the pass yeah just a just a doe all curious about us of course we'll have to walk forward to get the uh, get the water but she'll probably skid out but that's cool it's probably about 30 meters so not quite as close as the ones we saw yesterday but still cool to see and they don't just run off they're very curious so very cool
kind of slowly leveling out off the mountains, but these hills are still ginormous. They're a really good sleep. Um, well, really good camp spot. I didn't sleep well, but Helen had a really good sleep. But yes, it's uh, my partner is really beautiful. Still in the dry section doing big carries. And today we are going to an outfitter. Where hopefully I am going to get some new shoes. Because I've been getting quite bad blisters. And I've also got an infected toe, which was sort of causing some issues with the speed that I can get along. But we've only got a couple more days and we'll be in Helena for a resupply and a day off. Unfortunately the day off is going to be July 4th, so it's their Independence Day, so there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of fireworks and noise and parties etc so probably won't get the best of sleep while we're there but being in a big town it is good to have all the options for resupply so get the food we want um, if we need to get anything else everything is right there there's a big walmart lots of big supermarkets so yeah quite looking forward to that Plus there's uh, a few, almost five star buffets, which we'll have to sample, just so that we can uh, write the Google review to let everyone know what the Kiwis think of the American buffets. And the sound of it, they're pretty good. But yeah, food is, eating out in the States has turned out to be extremely expensive. It's basically the same price as back in New Zealand, except their dollar is worth a lot more. So, I'll well, time to pay for it and do the currency conversion and all that sort of thing. It ends up being an expensive meal. So, hopefully buffets will be the way to go. Because both of us are losing weight at a very nice rate. Having a, a good feed at these places is only well, sort of makes good sense rather than going to a, a diner, even though the diners here have some fantastic burgers. The milkshakes are always fantastic, um, the service is excellent, but very hard to justify having a $50 lunch when your savings have got to last six months. Yeah. I um, still really enjoy Montana. The people here are the friendliest, hospitable yesterday. We got a hitch out of town, basically got to the 50 mile per hour sign outside of Lincoln, stuck our thumb out, a retired cop picked us up, dropped us off at the trailhead. Super, super nice guy. But we're finding that's basically the norm here. Everyone's interested in what you're doing. Everyone's super friendly. We've had multiple people you know, offer to do different things for us, and you know, there's nothing in it for them. So it's been a real eye opener as to what small town America is like versus when we were in Los Angeles and Seattle, and we just couldn't wait to leave. Through the section, one of my toes became badly infected. This made each step painful and it was hard to enjoy myself. As we neared Helena, we opted to road walk. The section was extremely dry and by following the road, we had a lot more water sources. What also turned out to be easier going and less painful for me. By road walking, we arrived in Helena a day early and we were able to enjoy three days of rest. By this time, a hot shower had become a real treat. Helena was our first major stop as we walked south. It is not the most populated town in Montana, but it is its capital. 
We really enjoyed our stay and once again the hospitality we were shown was humbling. We even had offers to stay with people we would only just met. For resupply we found that Walmart was the best option when available. Often we were spending less than half of what we would in a small town general store. It also turned out to have amazing fried chicken and devil egg potato salad. Hikers certainly start to think with their stomachs.